We often need a counter, for instance to calculate the number of turns or hits. However, we don't always have one at hand. But there is always a way out. You can make a counter out of a calculator. In fact, it, it is quite easy. Let's take a calculator and disassemble it. We remove the screws. Then we need to access the pads under the keys. In this case we'll have to remove the plastic holders. However, usually these pads are attached by screws. Having done that, we find the first and the second contact of the equal sign. We sold the wires to these contacts. Then we connect a magnetically operated read relay to the wires. The read relay will substitute the equal sign key. As a result, we get a programmable counter. It can count not only whole numbers adding by 1 or 2, but also some other values. Let's clear the pads and cover them with flux. Now we tin them. We cover the wires with flux and then also tin them. Then we soldered the wires. Now we straighten up the wires and close the body. It is not necessary to tighten it with screws. We close it till the catch clicks and that is enough. With the help of alligator clips we attach the reed relay to the wires. Now we can check how the counter works. But first we need to program it. We dial 1 plus 1 and bring the magnet close to the read relay several times. Now we can see that numbers on the screen are changing as the counter counts how many times we brought the magnet to the read relay. For example this time it's 14. This also works when we unwind a coil. If there are 500 turns, we can unwind one at a time. With each turn, the number on the screen will decrease by one. The calculator can also count fractions. Let's assume that by winding a coil, we increase its inductance by 0 0.73 millihenry. So we dial 0 0.73 plus 0 0.73 and continue counting. In this way we don't count the number of turns, 
but the inductance of the coil at this particular moment. At some point we will see, for instance, that its inductance has reached 6.57 millihenry. This is close to what we need, and we can stop here. At the same time, the calculator can still be used with its original function. It can still count, multiply, and divide. But the wires on the equal sign allow us to use it in this unusual way.